Let's visualize acceleration and its relationship to net force. Remember, while a force is a push or a pull, net force is the vector sum of all forces. When forces are not balanced, the net force will be non-zero and will point in the direction of the imbalance. Newton's second law states, the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net outside force acting on the object and inversely proportional to its mass. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with time. It does not describe how fast an object is, rather how quickly its speed or direction of movement changes. Let's demonstrate this visually using the simulator forces and motion from phet.colorado.edu Let's start with net force. Make sure to turn on sum of forces and values. Turning on the speed indicator is not necessary because net force is related to acceleration. Net force here will be demonstrated through a tug of war. You can place individual forces pulling to the left and right and monitor their magnitudes as well as their sum. When you press go, they start pulling. And if the forces are balanced, there will be no acceleration. If we introduce an imbalance, in the forces, there will be an acceleration in the direction of the net force. You can also add forces during the simulation. Notice that in this scenario, after the initial pull, I have balanced the forces. The cart in the middle did not stop because it already had initial speed. 
And net force only results in change in speed. You are welcome to experiment with various scenarios. Let's now experiment with the acceleration mode of the simulator. For simplicity, we are going to turn off friction. We still want to display any forces, the sum of forces, the values, the masses, and we will still want the acceleration. Again, displaying the speed is optional. You can drag and drop the figure to apply a force. But for more refinement, it is best if you just use the buttons. You can change out the masses, even add to them in various combinations. Notice that as we increase the amount of force, the magnitude of the acceleration will increase as well. The direction of the acceleration will be in the direction of the net force. This is not necessarily the direction of the velocity at the time. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Note that as we reduce the net force to zero, the acceleration also drops to zero. The object does not come to a rest as long as there is no other force, such as friction. By Newton's first law, it will continue at a constant velocity. Now let's experiment with different masses. Observe the relationship between mass and acceleration as we apply a constant force of say 50 newtons.
as you can see, the mass and acceleration are inversely proportional. It is to your benefit to experiment with various combinations of forces and masses as well as directions of applied force and also observe the acceleration. Remember, however, that you will still need to practice Newton's second law mathematically, starting with reading the problem, setting up a free body diagram, which may be more than one dimensional. setting up the coordinate system, then solving for unknowns using systems of equations, before plugging in with units to get an answer. Make sure to check out the other videos for examples of how to apply Newton's second law mathematically.